know if you hear that, but there's a crap ton of frogs outside. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Fish Junkie video. Now, uh, today I'm just gonna be talking to you guys about what I like to call my loadout bag or my fishing loadout bag. So if that sounds interesting to you, feel free to sit tight, grab a drink, and hope you enjoy the video. Alright, just a brief introduction. I'm going to be showing you guys my loadout bag. The bag that I take with me on all my fishing adventures, whether it be from the bank and somebody's boat because I don't have a boat myself or from the kayak or wherever it is that I'm going fishing. A lot of people, they say, you know, pack, be a minimalist, pack, don't pack all your stuff, just pack what you need for the day. But uh, I don't, I don't follow that rule. I don't want to be the one that says, oh, I should have, I could have, I would have brought that with me. Right now in the winter, with the exception of top water, I leave that one out because highly unlikely I'm going to catch it on top water. But for the most part, everything else, I keep it in my bag. This big cheap backpack from Walmart. It was like $10 at Walmart is where I keep all my tackle. Um, I'll probably get a better bag later, but you know I'm on a tight budget right now, so it'll do. And it it uh, it pretty much handles everything. So first, I'm gonna start from the outside. Um, it's pretty padded. It's nice and comfortable. Got a padded back, side pocket on the side. I just keep my scissors. Sometimes I keep them in there. You know, if you're out on the kayak, you obviously don't want to keep this in there because it's gonna fly out the side and go in the water. But if I'm out on the kayak, I'll put it in the bag somewhere. But anyway, and I keep a can of fish attractant in there. This is a bang. It's a, I think this is like for six dollars or five dollars at Walmart. Works pretty good. And then got a lighting system here. It's clipped on the side, but it's got a little light there on the front. And one on the side here, LEDs. Now keep a set of, of multi-tool here so I can pull hooks out of the fish's mouth if I need to. And then I've got a carabiner here that's got my fish grip attached to it so I don't lose that. And last but not least we have our trusty scale here in case you want to weigh some fish. And then if I'm not carrying my hog trough with me, I just have your standard measuring tape so I can measure fish. All right, let's go ahead and break it up. So up top in the front, got me a little bit of spike it uh, dye, it's garlic scent. And then some super glue. Always good to have on you. Some of this uh, real oil. AAA batteries on me for my my headlamp, which is inside there. I'm not gonna take it out. I usually stick it on the front of my hats, right up the front. And if I'm fishing at night, and then on the bottom, it's where I keep my fishing license and. Uh, Keep these little cheapy two-way radios with me. That way if I'm fishing with somebody, we kind of separate and talk to each other from, as things go like 20 something miles, but 
I've never tested them. So that's pretty much it from the outside. Let's go ahead and look at the middle compartment. And I'm not gonna pull them out, but I keep my um, my chesty, my chest mount, and my head mount for my GoPro or my uh, SJ4000. Let's go into the meat and potatoes. This right here, about four pounds of goodness right here. This is all my soft plastics. Man, these things stink like garlic. I don't know what happened. I guess I must have put some garlic scent in there or something. It's everywhere. I guess it's a good thing because it'll mask my human scent. I keep three um, 3700 series plain of boxes in this bag. Um, they fit snug, very snug. Better to have, uh, for me, it's better to have everything that I could possibly need instead of crying about and say, oh, I wish I would have had it. So, anyway, first we're gonna go through our, uh, as you can see there, I got OCD search baits. This consists of crank baits, jerk baits, anything that can be used to search the water. So, first uh, on the top, I just have basically square bills, store Marashi, bunch of Strike Kings, Strike King KVD 1.5s. It's my favorite right here. Black and black back chartreuse. It's a cheap little rebel. And this one's quite interesting. It's a soft plastic or a hollow body, hollow body square bill from Boyd Duckett. It's weird looking. It's a shack guy in there. And next to that we got all of our lipless crankbaits. Got this was one of my favorites. I haven't used it yet, but it makes a good sound. This is from uh, from Lucky Craft. I don't remember what it's called, but it's awesome. And in the middle, we got all our deep divers. Most of them are Strike King, 6XD. There's a 5XD right here. Sexy shad color. It's a 5XD. I think mean, these are Norman Moors. These are like, I forget what they call them. But these uh, dive to about 22 feet. Remember that big bill right there. And we got our glide baits. These should have come in handy pretty soon. S waiver. Savage Gear Trout. And then just a bunch of little swim baits. Now, finally, last but not least, my jerk baits. This little jam right here. This little guy right here, pretty crazy. This is called the Patriot. Well, it's called the Patriot. We we label it the Patriot, but uh, it's like the Patriot 2.0. I already lost one of these first time I got it. Um, somebody bought it. Somebody bought it for me for Veterans Day and. I ended up snapping it off the line. So, but I won this one this year. Actually, last uh, at the end of last year. And this uh, this is a it's called a speed lure. 130 jerk bait. It's there's another speed lure right here. This one is in uh, silver side leading silver side mini. It's got a little Yozuri. I found this sucker in the California Aqueduct. It was uh, attached to some braid and I snagged it. Speed lower 130 in white shadow. Love this one, love this one. I've gotten some 
pretty big, large mouth on this one, but uh, mostly striper. Oh, if you want to pick up some of these speed lures, I'll leave a, a link in the description below. This is the bread and butter right here. This is, if there was any jerk bait from speed lures that I'd say would be like their mascot or what, what, whatever you want to call it, it's got to be this guy right here. This guy's called the Speed Lure 130 in Purple Oracle. That's what they called it. Purple Oracle. It's kind of like a table rock shad, is what I'm told. This thing's good at night. It's actually good all the time. Finally, we have our one of my favorite jerk baits of all time. It's your Rapala or Rapala, however you want to say it. Um, Shadow Rap 11. The shallow diver right here and here's a deep diver version with a longer bill but this one is my favorite color I've caught many fish on this color it's kind of like a where's it at it's kind of similar to the purple urkel color but uh, a little translucent on the side but this guy will catch this caught me many bass and mini striper so that's all my search baits all right on to our box. all right figured we'd give you guys a view from the top for the jigs so pretty much keep all my different flipping jigs and football jigs and whatnot on the top all right this little compartment here just keep any random crap here. Random tight on baits. You got a Texas rig, Senko. I got a football jig, finesse football jig with a speed crawl. Just a little weight for this flute. It's a chatter bait from Z Man. And I got all my, these are like my drop shot. Uh, all my little drop shot hooks. I keep my terminal tackle in here. Got my little various size uh, drop shot hooks in here. Just a bunch of trebles. And we got all these uh, swivels, split rings. These are good right here. You might, uh, I'll put a link in the description below, but these are snaps. Um, can't remember the brand of them, but we'll put a link in the description below. This is weighted for 50 pounds, so I like using these when I go striper fishing because I can swap baits, you know, within a few seconds because of these. And uh, I'll probably make a video later show you guys what these are all about. But I'll put in the description just a little Venom Lord Death Grip hooks that I got in. Uh, Mystery tackle box. And yeah, some bleeding hooks here. Just some red hooks. A little weights on them. All my EWGs. Various sizes. 3 out, 4 out, 5 out. They're just all mixed up in there. And I like these little guys right here. Little football, finesse football jigs. With the little screw in thing there. Pretty cool. But yeah, I, uh, I it's kind of like a shaky head. It's like a football jig. Um, I rig my finesse worms on there. Sometimes I'll put a Senko. These little guys right here from Arky. Um, little swinging head, round, swinging round head. Take a little swinging. And that's pretty much for those. And just a bunch of different weights, bullet weights, different sizes, punching weights, split shots, more weights. I like a finesse hook, but 
all kinds of different bullet weights. Swim bait hooks, low weighted, weighted swim bait hooks. Ah, stuck my stuff. So a spoon, punch skirt, bobber stops with uh, little Senko O rings and beads. And then some uh, trailer hooks for chatter baits. And they're used to peg your weights. I don't know what the hell they're called. Anyway, there's these little finesse jigs. These are one eighth ounce. These are one, uh, one fourth ounce. But that's it for my jig box. It's my top water box. Like I said, it, uh, I usually don't keep this on me um, unless it's during the spring or summer or sometimes the fall, but for the winter, for the most part, no top water action. Just got a bunch of different uh, Head and Zara puppies. This one on top here, Gary Yamamoto. Spook. Ow! Zara Spook. Bunch of little small head and uh, puppies. The hula popper. I tell you, man, my top water game is off. I, I don't really do top water too much. Something that I want to try to focus on. Um, buzz baits. I've only got two of these. One in the white color. One in the darker color, bluegill. Oh, I love these guys right here. Whopper ploppers. If you want to get whopper ploppers, there's really only two colors that you should need. Um, this one right here, this black and white one is a loon color. And then uh, I forget what the other one, there's a white one that you should get. And then for the third one, if you want to get a third one, you get a natural color, you're going to get the perch color here. Or um, there's another one, I, I forget what color it is. But anyway, it's all my little frogs. The popping frog. I don't remember what brand that is. I think this is a little light target frog. And there's these guys right here from oh Lunker Hunt. Got a white one, a camel colored one. And there's a just a natural colored one. Then there's a green one. But yeah, that's all my frogs. I don't. Like I said, my top water game is off. I mean, I usually carry like some line with me. This 10 pound uh, Seeger Red Label fluorocarbon. I usually carry this if I'm uh, uh, most, no, I'd say um, some of my, uh, some of my reels have braid on them. Like my spinning reels, I put 20 pound braid on them. Um, most of the time I'm, tying on a liter, 10 pound or what have you, of fluorocarbon for drop shotting. But I keep that in my bag just in case I want to do that. Last but not least, I got this little uh, 3500 series. And I keep these little small jigs in here. Just random crap. This is basically my panfish box in case I want to try to do some pan fishing. Just got little bucktail jigs and whatnot that will Pretty much my crappie and uh, bluegill box, and uh, I, these are for bass, but I don't know, I just keep them in there. But, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all my lures that I carry with me out in my uh, loadout bag. Um, as you guys can see, I got my little kayak back here. Give you guys a tour of that maybe. Uh, once this rain settles down, uh, we'll shoot a video outdoors or something in my backyard. Kind of show you guys how my kayak is set up on the water. Um, if you like this video, feel free to give me the one up. Go ahead and click that like button. Uh, please comment. Love my, I love my viewers who leave comments. Right now, we're not really doing too much fishing because the uh, weather is just crazy right now. Uh, there's water everywhere, which is a good thing. 
Oh, and uh, the Fresno River, which runs through the town that I live in, has water now. The last time it had water was like 2011. So it's been quite a few years. Um, pretty excited about that. Uh, I still haven't got my fishing license yet, but we'll get it soon. For the time being, we're just gonna kind of pedal this Fresno River and use my, uh, my Lowrance to see if we can maybe find some fish in the, in the river. <laughs> Be awesome if we could because then I don't have to go as far to go fishing. Good for me, good for you. Hey, that's it for now. Um, just to let you know, another video I have in the pipeline is uh, one of my one of these other one of the other anglers from Jack Baits. He on his channel he posted his five top baits of 2016. I know it's a little bit late, but I'm gonna put one together myself just to show you guys what lures I found success with um, that one I'll probably probably record that one tomorrow or something but that one's coming up too if you like this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up smash that subscribe button if you like what you see um, for future videos I think those who are uh, current subscribers I really appreciate you guys right now I'm waiting for a package to come in from from Jack Bates we'll be doing a, a lure preview slash unboxing for you guys and then uh possibly a, a giveaway if you guys like to fish with jigs go ahead and uh check out jack baits at jack bait www.jackbaits.com that's j-a-k-k-e-d baits.com use the promo code gabe1 that's g-a-b-e gabe like me my name number one gabe1 It'll get you a 10% off your order. Um, go ahead and check them out. And as always, remember, stay hooked, keep it real, tight lines.